Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to be looking at something witty entertainment, Sword Art Online Abridged, episode 15. Now, for anyone who hasn't seen Sword Art Online Abridged before, one, why? Fix that! There's a link to the original down below, hit it up, watch all of them, why haven't you done that? Also, two, you're in for one hell of a ride and I'm actually a little jealous. A quick summary of the entire show is, this is, at this point, a giant show about one man's journey and his crippling addiction to being the best. While everyone who's seen the show before realizes that is completely wrong, you also have to admit, at least in the abridged, it's also completely right. I stand by that. After all, Kirito is always right, Foundation is a thing. I'm sticking by that one as well. So we're just going to jump right in because I'm freaking excited, man. I'm... I, I might have freaked out the people I was with at work when I saw the premiere was up, and <laughs> then they were all kind of giving me the stink eye. But at this point, they're kind of used to it. He's like, I, I'm, I'm me. It, it's kind of expected I'll be weird and geeky and do that. So, yeah, it wasn't as bad as it could be. So we're just going to jump right into it. Again, link below to the original video. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on this one, too. So let's get started. Oh, yes. The sister. How could you just ditch me like that, Leafa? Who? <laughs> I thought I was clear about not mentioning that game in public. Oh, they know each other in reality. Oh, right. That's I'm the... sorry, Leafa. What did I just say? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Gaia. It's just when I came back without you, Prince Casimir was less than was? pleased. He tied my hand so I couldn't log out. He used the vice, Kitty Gaia. I don't think I'll ever be able to listen to Cascada again. What? Oh, I love them. Shit, I should have gone to that. Well, whatever. He Just couldn't log out because of a I don't music band? Kind of stupid storyline he's cooked up. What's the point of playing a princess if people are still going to tell me what to do? I, I so. I'm not sure which point I want to make. One, obvious Mario reference. Except you're not the one who's stuck in another castle. Two... That's actually a really good description of exactly what a princess did. They had literally no freedom through most of existences anywhere on Earth. It was literally just a bargaining chip. So, I mean, technically, points for him actually getting it right. The downside being, being right sucks in this case. Just had to point that out. Suppose I could pass that along for you. If you really God. need me to. I do. Cool. Now, if that's everything, you can Dear get out gosh, of my way. All over You're him. making me late to kendo practice. Oh, right. Hey, now that he's out of the hospital, is your brother going to be joining you? I'd oh. really love to meet the hero of Aincrad. Uh, 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 Please don't call him that. <laughs> no, that spineless quitter hasn't actually practiced in years. He's always been more comfortable with screens than swords. To be fair, at this the point, he might actually have the muscle thing. memory for it. Doesn't like swords? Look, are you uh, gonna get out of my way or not? I, I will, I promise. I love it. It's just, I just before you go, I love this interaction. I've been wanting to ask you something for a long time now. Uh, if you're about to propose, dude, you're in the wrong now? place. Well, I was wondering if we could maybe, you know, wrong time, man. Go on a real date. Not, not that I don't like what we've been doing. Oh. But I just thought maybe we could like go see a movie. Soon, very much. About us, okay? You and I are barely friends. Reckon is Princess Leafa's fuckboy. Got it? Don't confuse a game with real life, you perv. <clears throat> um. Oh. Oh my. Considering how in depth. Those games get, and Kirito considers himself married. I think your brother would disagree with you about that one. Oh my god, I just. <laughs> I, I mean, they met the term fuck boy as um, friends with benefit, right? Or is he just literally the gopher, and it just sounds more degrading this way? Either way, though, wow, <laughs> that escalated. Now meet me in the janitor's closet after practice. I got another quest for you. 
But yes, princess. Oh, she didn't just mean in the game either. Oh, fucking Nagata. Who feels so great about Kazuto anyway? Nothing but a butt fucking quitter who hacks into my game to I don't know. Blackmail me probably. Doesn't even know it's you yet. <laughs> Wait, he just said Nagata? Yeah, he oh. would say that, that son of a bitch. Yeah, actually, Looking he can see him say it. sad puppy dog eyes, tricking me into feeling bad for him? This is what I get for being nice. Well, he made a big mistake oh, challenging no. me here. This cutesy little world has many dark corners. And I think I know just the one to take him to first. What? What? The what? So you're telling me that there are people who log into this game just so they can pretend to run an airport? Fairport? What? Don't. Princess Leafa. That's actually a thing? Like, those aren't NPCs? I mean, it made sense in the previous arc because they literally have nothing better to do, but... Why would you play a game... To work. I I'm with Ka Yeah, I was going to say Kazuto. Ka Kazuma. Oh, God, I cannot speak today. <sighs> Kirito. Why is Kirito right about this? I don't like being agreeing with him. It, it, just, it feels weird. Ah, there you are. It's a good thing we caught you before you got through customs. I don't like I this guy. That too? Wait, they have customs? Oh, I hate it. Not only did you embarrass me, <laughs> as well as the queen, by failing to attend our engagement party, but now I find you gallivanting with this detestable sprig and trash! Trash has a name, by the way. Role playing hard there, man. Listen, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to fake marry you. I only agreed to it because my fake mom said I fake had to in order to... What was it? End the civil war that ravages our homeland? Yeah, that's They're role hard. playing really see, hard here. I'm bored now. I'm gonna go hang out with this guy for a while, okay? Princess, I really must insist. I love how this is so role play heavy. That you come with no, us. seriously, I, I need to point out right now just this level of detail, the fact that. Yeah, I beat my thing. Oh. I love how everything in this arc is so dedicated to role play. In the previous episodes, you got to see how they were really RPing it up by being the really big bad guy, and she was the wee little princess, and of course, it was all just play acting for the fun of it. But right now, just they're so dedicated to it. And sure, of course, in the show, it's one thing, but in this one, it's like, yes, we get it, you're doing it. But at the same time, she's breaking characters like, to add the fake into everything. It's just, I like how by her intentionally horribly role-playing, it shows just everyone else is also role-playing so damn hard. It's just, it's great to see how that little interaction between her just half-assing it is showing everything else is really in-depth roleplay, giving a characterization to someone who would just be generic prick number one, but it's like, no, no, he's a guy who's actually just playing generic prick number one because it's fun to just randomly get into a character and just... The implication of character by just a few throwaway lines is something I really enjoy watching, and they're just doing a great job of it, and I'm loving this right now. Yes, I'm having a geek moment. I do that <laughs> a lot. Im Come on, dude. She said she's not interested. Have some self-respect and doing the it with a sleazy roleplay fetish stick. You're a young, eligible nobleman. I'm sure you gotta have plenty of cousins who'd love to <coughs> take their place in the old cousins. man's bed. I mean, not wrong. Know your place, Spriggan. I know not how you seduced our fair princess. <laughs> <laughs> events have been set in Love motion face. which are beyond your meager comprehension. Fun. Oh yeah, sure, I bet. It's not even what? roleplay, he's just it's having like fun. Fallen star made flesh and you gotta stop a gang of witches from eating her heart and regaining their lost youth. Okay, first off, that's the plot of Stardust. Second, what, really? I don't oh. have time to explain I've it to the likes that. of you. All you need to understand is that what I Stardust. do, I do. For the good of us all. Your <laughs> Highness, perhaps this is a conversation you should have in private? The pretzel guy is staring at us. 
Hey, hey, Nothing. you nice folks want a pretzel? <laughs> Many thanks, kind citizen. We're fine. I love the... <laughs> you see that dedication princess? to Hawking. You are making a scene. No, oh, you, you oh, do it. you want a scene? That is explicitly not what I want. Well, I'll give you a scene. Oh, no. You just wait until my mom gets back from those peace talks at Butterfly Valley. Your ash is going to be so banished. Ah, I see. <laughs> it appears we have been sufficiently intimidated. Wouldn't you really? say, boys? Really? They're just we RPing. It's like, yes, okay, we got what we want. We'll just be on our way then. <laughs> oh, my God. Enjoy slumming it, princess. Dick. Ugh, sorry about that. Those guys take this game way too seriously. You play yeah, with them. I've noticed. Look, I just realized that sword's bigger than him. Further, I need you to be straight with me. Am I in for some additional screening over there? <laughs> Lifa, come on. <laughs> yes, he me. is. Greetings. How are you folks doing today? It's completely random too. Wait, Waco Mundo? You know what? No, nope, wait, seen sorry, different fantasy. franchise. Sam and Frodo filing for work visas to get into Mordor. Yeah, they just snuck in, <laughs> spitting all over Sauron's borders. Oh like my pilots, god! The Spriggans of Middle Earth. Do you, like, forget I'm here? Yes. Or do you just not care? I get a You're feeling right. that actually is something. The view is beautiful up here. What? Cool. You know what else is beautiful? My wife. Whom I would okay, so it's intentionally like fucking up the with background. The army that you apparently have. I just want to point out right now, I haven't seen the show, so I don't know if this is something something witty has done, just this fucked up clouds in the air message, or if this is something that was in the show itself. I don't know, but it's really cool they're including it because at first I thought, oh, is that an issue with the editing? But no, no, it's very intentional. And the fact they left in that little air message right there. If it's something they add in, it's masterfully done. And if it's something that was already in there, it's just really cool. I'm going to look forward to finding out. Huh? Really? That's what you're going with? Wait, what do you mean army? What do you mean, what do I mean? Last night, you said you had, like, hordes of subjects who could help us. Please do not tell me. I just got my cavity searched for nothing, princess. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, all right. What was that crack sound we heard? I guess we could go ask Mom. She might be cool. The game is glitching once. really hard. Princess! Seriously, I'm not the only one noticing it, right? Oh, thank goodness. I am so glad to see you. <gasps> really? No. I well, would have taken anyone, honestly. <laughs> oh. Don't you talk to him that way. How dare you? So where are you guys oh God, he's to? Defending going someone. on a quest? <clears throat> you guys going on a mission? Can I come with? Ah, oh, corn nuts. I can't let these two talk. Yeah. No, no, I you really overestimate them. My brother about the handy I gave him. What? Oh, snap. He might tell him I made him cupcakes. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, I gotta nip this in the bud. I'm sorry. She's more freaked out about the cuck cupcakes than the, um, handy. This girl's got issues, man. <laughs> to be fair, you'll just bake cupcakes for anyone. Crab 91 cupcakes. Wow, that really sounds bad in this context. Um, I I'm just going to move on before I incriminate myself more. Duh, you know. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm going with the screwed up. For you to come yeah, along, the screwed up scenery. Okay, it's going backwards for a second there. That has to be intentional. That I can only entrust to you. You do? It's getting what worse it? every time we look at the scene, too. I uh, need you to keep an eye on Prince Casimir for me. He's been acting real sus lately. Ugh. Of course, princess. Sus, really? I won't let you down. Among but Us reference. Are you sure he isn't just mad that you're bailing on the whole wedding storyline? Nah. Nah, this is something else. He's deaf into some sketches. I need what? you to stop. Well, if you're sure, then that's good enough for me. I'll get to the bottom of this no matter what. Cool beans, my dude. Feel free to start anytime. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Well, take care. And you. I wonder what's uh, going to happen with the entire Spriggan, screwed up. The princess kind of tends to get herself into trouble, like constantly. So I'd appreciate also, it if you'd watch your like back. Her. Okay? You got it, buddy. I don't plan on letting her out of my sight. I don't trust her at all. Smart well, move. I trust you. Like 
to a weird degree, actually. There's something really familiar about you. Hey, have you been on the news or something? Ah, my tootsies! <laughs> Well, <laughs> chop, chop, the time's a wasting. You know, you really should be nicer to your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Fuck toy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Regardless of label, you must care for each other. Both of your heart rates increased by twenty two percent when he arrived. Oh. You hear that? Science says you like him. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm scared of him. Oh yeah, you always here. That? God, you can tell they're related. <laughs> Even if it's just emotional patterning. Uh, patterning? Fun. Patterning. Hey, where are we going again? So, I feel like we need to talk about this whole constantly escaping thing. Oh, she gets I out. I have no idea how you keep breaking through my security. You're but dumb. I you think it's time to stop. A marriage is a partnership, kitten. And you're leaving me to plan this wedding all by my lonesome. At least help me pick out a china pattern. Well, you want me to fit into my wedding dress, don't you? Assaulting your guards is about the only exercise I get in Technically this not place. wrong. Ah, I'm glad you brought that up, actually. I, mean, I know what Alicia did when she was getting married to me. Quite a lot, and, well, their psych bills are really starting to add up. Especially dear Shoji. I don't know what you have against him specifically, but he's starting to take it personally. What? Yeah, I go pretty hard with Shoji. <laughs> <laughs> she broke well, him. I suppose I can forgive such trifles. <laughs> you might as well indulge these base urges now. I can assure you that there will be none of that once the project is complete. I don't know why, but him looking like this right now makes him less creepy than he is in actual now. real life version here. Somewhere between Leave It to Beaver and Hardcore Porn. <gasps> okay, never mind. He's so just as creepy. How exactly is that gonna work, by the way? Am I gonna like have a remote? We go on by well, I mean, June Cleaver, her actor, got into some shit. Oh, you. Always asking questions, hoping at the armor. It'd almost be adorable if it wasn't such a nuisance. Much like that little boy toy of yours. What? Oh, <laughs> that certainly got a reaction. Did I finally find a nerve? Well, you'll be happy to know that we detected him logging in last night. Oh, no yeah, he would have control over that. And thinks he's going to charge in here and save you. The fool. I suppose I could simply ban his account, but... Where's the fun in that? Especially since, no. you know, you can just I find him, him off him, and take much. While. Allow him to garner his forces, claw his way to the top, only to find the gates completely impregnable. <laughs> I can hardly even imagine the satisfaction of seeing that glimmer of hope die. Yeah, no, right now, you, you, you're just an idiot. One, you're an idiot. Oh my god, why are you, you're, you're freaking gloating? Also, just want to say right now, I need to look it up whoever's voicing him right now, but you are doing a damn good job of making this guy a really believable asshole. I realize how that sounds, and I mean it's a compliment, but I realize it does not sound that way. But I do mean it as one. It's like, it's a real believable, this is what an asshole who's completely full of himself sounds like. I should know because it's how I imagine I sound. But just that. I realize I'm just digging that hole deeper. I, I, I know, I know I am. But it's just—he's it, doing the really hateable voice well. Just really emoting. It's great to watch. But at the same time, oh God, I want to punch that voice in the face. <laughs> it should be quite the show, <sighs> don't you think, my dear Titania? I think if you touch Everyone's a single a role hair on his head, I'm gonna be wearing your guts like my mom's pashmina. What's hey, a pashmina? Excuse me. I'm sorry. Did I freaking stutter? I said, if you hurt him, you will experience pain and Unless you leave her in the game forever, beyond anything she can you could find possibly out. imagine. Your body will be torn apart piece by piece as you beg for a mercy that will never come. I will add your screams to my gosh darn Spotify, Spotify and I will see your head mounted on a fudging pike! You, you should hear how ridiculous you sound right now. <laughs> you might want to run, dude. Doing you no favors. Yeah. Consider jumping Listen off a bridge. Here. 
I am your king, and you will not disrespect yeah, me. Yeah, specifically like Louis the Thirteenth. All you want, spit on my face, stop on they? my balls. But you and I both know you're powerless to stop me. Like Do you feel not, pain to escape? Because if so, you made a bad choice. Clean up your act. We are going to have take a beautiful out. wedding, and you are going to spend the rest of your life in blissful, mindless servitude. Now we're. We'll just want to point out for the office, like, he really didn't think this through because the entire actually getting married part means she probably owns you if you die under mysterious circumstances. Really, people never think that part through. Yeah. Also, does anyone doubt she could make it happen? Because after that last uh, Kirito channeling, uh, no, no, yeah. I'll be honest, the cruelest thing anyone could do right now would be let you go through with this dumb idea. I do not believe you'd survive it. Will you please help me pick out a gosh darn china pattern? She's Blood gone. drops. <sighs> of course she's gone. <laughs> Screw it. Willow blue it is. <laughs> I love that. <sighs> Finally we're here. Why were you in such a rush to get to this specific spot? No, it's like a safe area where we can wait for our wings to recharge without getting attacked. Oh, they have okay. a recharge time? Then, uh, what happened to those guys? Oh. <laughs> they must have been outside of the zone. Look, if it makes you feel better, I I'm can I'm more surprised to leave dead bodies. That's kind of creepy. Get yourself a stick. Great editing, though. I don't know. I'm pretty worried about Asuna. I love that they added this entire scene in. Oh god, what is that? You're gonna save her on an empty tummy, are you? Look, I don't have time to be... Okay, maybe just a second. You can get hungry in game too? Back in a bit. I guess they didn't able to that. Good. Or he logged now, out. Before the forest folk do their work, let's see if you've got any evidence for me. Huh? Evidence of what? You didn't notice she was there? Oh, I think we both know that is not the case. Suga, Kirigaya. You're not really a pet item, are you? Technically, she could be. You're like one of those fully autonomous and sentient artificial intelligences? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, you're like one of those robots that can talk and think and junk. Huh. Wow. Yeah! I sure am, sport! Whoa. Respect just so zeroed out. How do you know who I am? Did he tell you? You'd I don't know if she actually had planning. metrics on it and she could adjust it. Daddy has no idea who you really are. I only know because I hacked your atmosphere, as well as a few other things, and found other? your account information. Wait, he really doesn't know? Well, if he's not trying to mess with me, then why is he even here? Daddy's attempting to rescue Mommy from the very handsy clutches of this game's administrator, who's keeping her mind captive at the top of the world tree. Could the you just fix that because you have you, a admin close family member, mere moments after logging in, was simply happenstance. That's absurd! Correct. Plot but twist. it is also what happened. Yeah. Reality is no. actually weirder, so yeah, I'm sure. I it. That butthead knows I'd never be caught dead playing a girly game like this. This is clearly all part of some elaborate revenge plot. You need to just adjust that it. respect stat even lower. Pity. If you will not listen to reason, perhaps more drastic methods what? will be necessary. <laughs> what? Nice try, kid. But you've got a terrible poker face. It's At only least terrible. I still have a face. <laughs> What's what? that supposed to mean? <gasps> oh, that is evil. Is she getting bigger? She's getting bigger. That should do. Could she even log out in this? Oh! Okay, so fridge horror moment here. You have to be able to access the logout screen to log it on your own, right? Or are you able to, like, are they able to force log out from outside of the game? Because if not, she literally could do anything to anyone by just taking away their sights. Like, hey, congratulations. Unless you have perfect muscle memory, you can't do it. Or I can take away your sense of touch. Oh, God, that is literally. Oh. Yui is scary. Literally, she just did the 
I must scream and I have no mouth trope. I have no mouth and I must scream. I just, mm. She could literally body horror someone in this thing because she just demonstrated, yes, that's in her capabilities. Who needs a face? Sure, I mean, she'd have to have a new model for that, but she's a freaking AI who on the fly edited out someone's face. Seriously. Something with the entertainment. If you're just, you're really hyping up the terror aspects. You know what? Yeah, I get it. You can tell what Yui got from Asuna here. Again, personality trope, which in this case is literally the most terrifying thing you could get from them. Yeah. An AI patterning itself off of Asuna. And, uh, oh God, Kirito. And then who is stuck in a essential limbo of the data disk and just going moderately insane? Oh God, this is literally the beginning to every Terminator movie, right? It's like the machines. Rose. Actually, that's more Battlestar Galactica. And literally every sci-fi fic. Yeah, actually. Oh God, it's everything. Yeah. And considering they're trying to invent their own scenes, like that one scene with the guards. This could go really dark if they wanted it to, because they just proved they could animate anything they want if they needed it. Yep. That is legitimately a terrifying scene, though. Like, really well done, really great, really established the characterization by having Asuna go super dark prior to this, but... Okay, hot damn. Fridge horror moment. Yes, now. Yes, yes, oh my gosh! Please, just stop! I'll quit messing with him, okay? I swear! I'll do whatever you want! Smart move when the AI um, controlling Overlord X, tells you to sign. But I think just the saving my wife thing is funny. <laughs> You're a bit jumpy. Did something happened. <laughs> yeah. gone. Oh, yes. Leafa and I were just having a fascinating discussion about... <laughs> He's evil! <laughs> it's nothing! I think Don't I just love you as a character right, right. now. Yui's awesome. So, you want to take a Things turn? Things I never thought I would say. Uh, actually, we should really get moving. <laughs> Sounds good to me, but why are you suddenly in such a rush? You see, Daddy... While you were gone, Leifa received a message from her mother informing her that the conference is drawing to a close. Oh. Leifa believes we must quicken our pace if we wish to arrive before the other delegates leave. Isn't that right, Leifa? I don't think we have any delis in this game. Or, or do we? She says that if we get there in time, I love it. Play She's trying to dumb tonight, it down for Leafa. We'll be able to raid the world tree with not only her mother's army, but the Catsy army as well. Catsy? She believes that in working together, we may be oh able to achieve what none have been able to accomplish alone. I mean, all that mayo's got to come from somewhere, right? She's no not even listening. Get a nice potato salad going. <sighs> But we must <laughs> leave now! Since the oh, yes, piss off the AI overlord. Limit, our only way forward is through Candy Cane Cavern, which will slow our progress considerably! Am She's I trying so hard. your plan correctly, Leafa? What? Huh? <laughs> now, my plan! Why am I hungry? Dear God, I love the characterization. Thank you for saying this, ladies, but I'm a bit skeptical. Look, I know it sounds a little weird, but I swear you can trust me. I have nothing but the purest of intent. Hey, Technically, murder's, murder's pure. Here. What the hell? Get out of here. This one's not for you. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we should probably go. <laughs> hey, hey, no, get back here. Who is that? Uh, <laughs> you away. I love their interaction between her and Yui. Jokes. Oh, my God, a bat. And that was a giant episode of Yui Intimidates Everyone. Yes, there's more to it, but I love that at the end. Every single line Yui had was on par. Not just the fridge horror elements, which I already talked about a ton, so I'll just leave it there. But, okay, seriously, they were awesome. I love them. Just, oh, God, I love the aspect that they even included that. But more just her trying to get across, in very obvious words, what Leafa's plan was. Because it's definitely Leafa's plan. And it's so freaking obvious, and she completely misses it. She's pulling a complete Kirito space shot moment. It's like, yes, we get how they're related. Oh my god, it's just, that's literally one of the things I could see him doing as a joke in the first season, where he just randomly goes off into one of his tangents to the, just ignoring everything else. And then we get to see her doing it, and he's just sitting there like, I don't think I trust this. 
It's so good because something with entertainment, the writing on this is on par. It's so damn good. It shows character interaction. It shows interesting usage. I just, I want to go back and watch more sword art online because of the abridged. Yeah, I, I'm not even going to lie. I kind of want to go do that now when I start working. I'll just watch this now because I want to see what the thing they're changing it from was. I want to see how it was handled originally and what they're doing now because I can maybe appreciate the abridge more because I love what the abridge is doing. I like how they're handling the characters. I like how they're just building it up. I love the character interactions. I love how Leafa in real life is, um, yeah, no, friend with benefits. Minus the friend part and more benefits just for her and he got it handy. And cupcakes! The dirty, dirty cupcakes. I love the fact that the cupcakes were what hit her. I just... It's just so good. It's well written. The characters are consistent but screwed up. It's just, I'm getting all the fun out of this that I got when I first started watching Abridging, which would literally be SAO Abridged. It's like one of the first three Abridges I ever saw. So again, kind of spoiled for choice off the bat there, but... It, this is good. I love the writing. And it's just well done. It's well thought out. The intimidating scenes were beautifully handled. I just really love this. I would love for more to happen. But that's just because I want more. Literally, if there was another hour of content, I would still be at the end of like, more please. And I would not regret a word of that because it's so freaking good. If you haven't, why haven't you clicked on the link down below to the original video? This is so damn good. I know I'm sounding like a broken record saying this, but it just this was just a very good example of solid writing, solid acting, great editing, and original scenes dropped in to convey random plot lines that they could allude to or put little drops in before, but now they have full-out scenes, which means, and this is something I'm always a massive fan of, whenever an abridged group gets to the point where they can make original content in the abridged, they can transcend the original story, so they can just drop in a scene that has nothing even slightly similar to canon. So it's like, hey, you know if you want the main character to die? Sure, you can do that. You can pull a Joyride Entertainment and just cut out Deku from their My Hero Academy abridged and do that kind of issue. Here, yeah, Asuna escaped multiple times. They even had her prison escape and the terror, she's basically going full on alien to the guards and they're doing that. And it's beautiful to see it. It's just a quick scene, but it's masterful because it shows the level of preparation they've put into this and how far they've come. And I just, it means we don't actually know how this will end because they've already changed things. Mostly it's following the basic premise but who knows? Maybe something completely different will happen at the end. Maybe this entire scene, because it feels like it's getting closer to the wrap-up. I don't know. I haven't watched this season or even know anything about it. I knew kind of what was going on with the Ironcrad arc. I have nothing about anything going on further from there. Literally no idea what's going to happen here. Except for the fight in the parking lot. I have no idea what context that comes. I just know what happens at some point. Literally, that's the only other thing I know about this entire season. But because they're creating scenes... It opens up so much room for creativity and changes to the narrative because they have the creative freedom to do that. I just can't wait to see what happens next. This entire episode was good, but it's just hyped me up even more for the level of creativity they've brought to the fore here. I'm so freaking excited. So for everyone else, again, link below. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which hopefully comes out soon because I'm already freaking excited. Yes, I'm still geeking out. My wife is going to be hearing me do this all night. Love you, dear. <laughs> I might be in trouble, but it's completely worth it. <laughs> Adios, everyone.